how to train your soul. This is what I've learned from Stoicism and Taoism. And I am by no means a master. Rather, I'm just a student with an insight trying to share my fellow stragglers. Train your soul for you never know when it will be tested. Do this by acknowledging the beginnings of your mornings, free and present. And in this moment, I train my soul by letting things come as it may. The things that have happened in the past may not be forgotten. Yes, the things that are about to unfold have not yet come, definitely. I train my soul to look at this very moment for what it is. No judgments, no labels, just as it is. See, Seneca said, The rational soul is stronger than any kind of fortune because, and in itself, is the cause of many happy moments in life, if you could train your soul like that. But how do I train my soul, right? It's, it's not as if it's some sort of program that I could do once and let it carry over to the next. Training the soul comes from a daily decision to start anew. Training the soul comes from acknowledging new days are beginnings. And as mentioned, beginnings are free from the past, hopefully unbounded to the future. In the moment of beginnings, the soul is hopeful. All things contained with optimism, resolution, and innocence. So let your mornings be the training for your soul. Let the happy beginnings of your mornings be the module of your training. As Deng Ming Dao stated that uh, beginnings, these are the moments of embarking. All auspicious signs are in place. Reflect on this. How do you start your day? Are you excited and optimistic? Could you, could you improve that excitement and optimism? Also, can you forgive yourself from all the misfortunes of yesterday? Because to be able to forgive yourself is also a skill that could help you move towards the future. By the end of the day, all skills improve make for a great training. Train your soul because you never know when it will be tested.